Hello guys, I proudly welcome you to another quick Microsoft Access database tutorial brought to you by Data Text. My name is Apple Smiler. Guys, you guess what? Look at my screen right now here. Welcome to the install wizard for Acousia SMS. So guess what I'm about to install? I'm about to install uh, my professional school management system that I have uploaded here on YouTube. So now I have managed to convert my Microsoft Access database into an executable uh, software that can be installed on any uh, machine that runs on Windows. Now, uh, that is the reason why this video has also been made to share with you on how you can actually uh, manage in converting your Microsoft Access database systems into executable files that can easily be installed on any other PC. Now there are some couple of advantages that executable files usually have. One is that they are very much portable. If you are able to uh, create an executable file, executable far for your microsoft access project it's made it so portable and then also it eliminates all these annoying messages that uh, keeps on popping up each time that you put a database on a new computer that is enabling content will be done away with so now converting or having an executable file makes your access project uh, indeed portable it also eliminates annoying and then, excuse me to say, unnecessary uh, warning messages, unnecessary warning messages, and it also adds to the security, uh, the security of your application. People cannot easily tap into it. So, guys, without not wasting much time, let us actually uh, delve into the tutorial so that I show you how to create an executable file for your microsoft access database we shall be using the sample pos file that i have over here so guys i will exit this one here so let me choose to cancel okay now before you can do this you need a software a third-party application from the internet because microsoft access by default doesn't have any uh inbuilt feature that can be used to do this and then also this method will work either your microsoft access regardless of the extension of your access file if it is acc dba it will work if it is mdb it will work so it has to be in any format okay so the software we are going to use is uh, what i have here sse setup so guys let's get into the browser so that i show you how to come by the software so right right now uh we are in google so i'll type sse setup for windows 10 okay so you type ssc setup for windows 10 all right so now here uh you have you can go to the sc setup 10 for windows so you click okay so now here it is showing you that the uh, ssc setup 10 so you click okay so now guys as you can see uh, as soon as I tap that particular link, the file is being downloaded up here for us. It is a very small file, it has a very small file size indeed. Okay, so now as soon as the file is done downloading, you go into your download folder. So you check your download folder. So here we have the setup file downloaded for us here. Okay, guys, because uh, I already have it installed on my PC. I already have it installed on my PC. That was I have in here. So I only showed you how to download it, and then also installing it is just very simple. As uh, we install any other executable file, you simply double click like like this. So, to see set up. Okay. So we are not going to install it. So. This installer has detected a similarly newer version of this. So as you can see, that's the reason why I'm not going to install it. Okay, so let me choose to cancel everything. And now I will launch the setup that I have in here. Okay, so now that we are here, uh, you click start new projects. Okay, so here you give the name of, uh, you give a title or a name to your file. So I will say, a course pos 
okay so here you type the software version i'll type 22.10 okay now here your, your program's main file so you click the browse icon so you browse to you browse to your projects now I have it on a desktop so pos that's what i have in here so this is a file and as you can see uh is that applications.exe so any of these file formats can be imported so i'll click open now if you have a website you can actually uh input the name of the website the website you are here you can input the name of the, the or the website you are sorry you can put it here now what this one does is uh, after is there are some couple of settings that you can trigger to open the website as soon as your file is done installing now base these projects on the projects or templates you click here now this is very much important do not select microsoft assets default select microsoft assets with command line defaults that is why i've been always oh, been choosing and it works best for me then you go to start so now we are going to start the conversion so the project you are starting is a new assets project I strongly suggest that you read a step-by-step -step guide okay so we hit yes Okay, so uh, these are uh, the couple of steps that uh, the wizard is going to take us through in having everything set up. So now there are most of the stuff that will be skipping. So here we are. Okay, so we click next straight out. Okay, so now here requirements. So currently it is set to only allow access version 2013 or greater to be able to run. Uh, the application so i'll click at this connection and then i'll select 2010 instead so persons with access 2010 and beyond should be able to use this particular setup okay now I'll go to next okay so now we are going to uh customize the interface so the left image that we are going to use i'll click here so you can use the default images that we have but then i'll browse to my download and use my logo so i'll tap this okay now you can also small image using wizard so you can also click here let's say i want to use this image or let's select this instead okay so let's let's install rather okay because they're not creating a dvd file here so you can show fire animation once the file is installing show about button uh, so you can show fire animation then also message on startup so you can type a, you can type some message here for your users so let's say hello user thanks for choosing to install our wonderful program okay so message on success you can say congratulations Your post system is successfully so it's successfully installed. Okay, so this will be our message on success after installation. We would like to show this message. So here, feel free to type any message that you had like to show your users. So now we go to next. Okay. So here languages. So you can also put in some sort of agreements here default test you, if you have any arguments you can just type and just paste over here you can also load a file if you have some if you have your agreements uh, the software agreements stored in tst you can simply click here and load it or if you have in word you can just copy and come and paste here now it goes to next you go to next so we skip we skip now we are skipping so open url after installation if you had like the uh, setup to open a url after installation you put a url here uh, open url after uninstall you also open it here you can choose to play some audio when the application is being installed 
but then we don't need this so we go to next so there's a whole lot of features that you can explore for yourself now you go to next 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 for free we go to next again okay so here you can also put publishers website here copyright here and a whole lot so now you go to next again okay so now this is the final page now over here do you want to create only executable file or you want to create a zip archive as well so i will choose both of them the zip archive and the king table okay so now that we've actually uh, chosen this uh, we simply save create and exit so we click here now this is where so let me close the setup let me close this also okay so guys now we are done now the next thing is i will just copy these tabs here and then uh, you can choose to create any folder and put them inside so let me go to new okay so i'll say for setup so that's now open this folder and paste the copy stuffs inside okay so now we are done we have the executable file here so that's the executable file let's double click and test it do you want to allow this application yes so this is a message on startup hello user thanks for choosing to install a wonderful program okay okay so now as you can see we are choosing to play shortcut on desktop we are ready to install here is the logo so you go to next i have read everything next so installing our course pos please wait okay so now it is it is installed you can see the shortcut here so let me now mind you open the course PO program when you click OK. So once you hit OK, we should expect the application to open for us. So now as you can see, the application has successfully opened without any warning messages. Okay, so guys, as you can see, now the application is opened, and if you have data inside, your data will still be intact. So if uh, if it is application that you want to deploy, uh, or you, have, you want to distribute your customer, then it's advisable that you clear all your data from the system before you actually compile. Okay, so now uh, that is going to be the end of this video so that is going to be the end of this particular video okay so if you want to explore the zip you can also open the zip and that is a zip file also here for you okay so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you have not subscribed to this channel if you're a new karma kindly hit the subscribe button this is a microsoft access community we are all learning together so hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification icon so that each time that we upload a helpful video like this you will be notified so that you don't miss it see you in the next video bye